I first became familiar with Anthea West's work when I read her graphic novel The Earthbound God, which, by the way, is fantastic and something you really, really need to read. I was drawn in by the well-constructed characters and the art style, which is something like a cross between the art from Avatar The Last Airbender and Steven Universe. I've also picked up one of Anthea's art books, um, Girls and Monsters It Seems, or something like that. Pretty sure that's the title. Yeah. Anyway, back on point. Um, I, I really liked that art book. The characters drawn in it were, they were very well drawn. They were, they had little bits of backstory that seemed really interesting. I just... I like the way Anthea puts together characters. Her characters are definitely the strongest parts of her work. Anyway, putting together my appreciation for Anthea's artwork and her characters with the fact that I've mostly been working on horror stuff lately, I was very, very pleased when I was when I heard that Anthea was making a horror anthology comic. And that anthology is sleep tight. Okay, so I do have one complaint to make about the anthology. So I'm gonna get that out of the way now so I can just have it put to one side and say all the nice things later. Because there's a lot of nice things to say. Okay, I do think that maybe production on the publication should have been held off for a little while, not because the quality of the stories was lacking, but because the anthology is too short. Now, I don't think any of the stories need to be longer than they are. I think that if they were longer, they'd lose a lot of their impact but I do think there needs to be more of them. But who knows, maybe there's going to be a volume 2, a volume 3, and we'll be able to get a big collection, which I'd love. Alright, on to the positive stuff. The anthology is made up of four stories. Each one is beautifully illustrated in black and white or grayscale. The art style is very clearly Anthea's. It has the same kind of distinctive flow as the Earthbound God, but it's also distinct from the Earthbound God and from most of the characters in uh, Girls and Monsters, it seems. But this, the level of similarity there is helps build a nice balance between a sense of continuity and unique visual appeal. The stories themselves are beautiful in their simplicity. For the most part, they prey on some of the most basic and universal of human fears in a very effective manner. The one exception to this is the bed, which doesn't prey on basic universal human fears. Instead, it delivers its scare through subverting the seemingly gentle and warm-hearted story. One thing I particularly liked about the anthology was the contrast between the first story, Click, and the last story, Sleep Tight. The anthology begins with helpless fear and ends with unshakable defiance. And that contrast is made all the more poignant by the feelings conjured by the two intervening tales, particularly The Bed. All in all, if you're a fan of short horror stories, I recommend you check out Sleep Tight. I'm including links to where you can buy Sleep Tight and to, Anthea, and to Anthea's, I don't know how I pronounced that wrong, and to Anthea's Patreon and other social media platforms in the description. Thanks for watching that video. You know, if you liked it, then maybe you should like it. Subscribing would be nice as well. Actually, that would be really helpful. Or you could share. Maybe post a comment if you like. I, I really need someone to come up with better scripts for these.